Hello, welcome to my channel. We are continue our previous video of ISVE, but today we would like go for model IT. Basically, model IT is a is an application or tool in ISVE where we can draw the building or house that we want we want it to be. But uh, after that, after we draw, we can simulate the building energy consumption uh, from this our design building now let's get, let's start it okay first thing first we have to know this is a drawing window this drawing window we have a grid okay how we set grid is we go on grid setting and this is the grid we can adjust the grid dimension x axis and y axis but today i adjust for the x axis in one meter and also y axis in one meter okay okay here it looks like this you can see this is crossbar the the red crossbar this is belong to this uh, x y plot you can see it change in numbers of x and y while you go through this uh, red dot cross, it changes to the zero zero, meaning that this uh, reference uh, datum of this uh, uh, grid. Okay. So basically, here we have this uh, grid setting. Then we also have this uh, open lock dialog, where we can have uh, grid exist lock of grid. We can lock exist and uh, you can see the X, the X endpoint for the AutoCAD Pro uh, layout, and also you can draw guide drawing guide for the X axis and Y axis lock. So I just want to lock the grid. Okay. So what's next? Okay. Uh, first thing I want to create the prism. Okay. So you go to the toolbar here, yeah. the toolbar where. We you select the draw prism. Okay, here we can see the shape setting. What shape? What shape that you like for your uh, house? I mean, this is the first first approach. Then we can use the prism. See to 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 uh, draw a simple object. So reference, I can use this as safe as my room, and then object type. Okay, what you want to be what you want your what you want your building be for example building space or adjacent building topography shade or local shade building space meaning that the building yeah that you want to you, you own the building yeah, people live in the building and you want to simulate the, the condition or the the microclimate of the building whatever happened in the building then you want to simulate it then you draw a building space how about adjacent space? Adjacent space means that you already have your building space and then you want to put another building then that building will be adjacent to your building. Then topographical shade is that you want to draw the the shading to your building. I mean that uh, vertical shading or horizontal shading or also accurate plus post both vertical or horizontal shading for more you can block the sun shade to your house or building local shade mean uh, it's like a tree uh, uh, sorry I, 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 I twist the, the information actually the local shade will be this uh, accurate uh, horizontal shading or, or vertical shading uh, the one that it, uh, attached to your building at the nearby your windows to block the direct sunlight to your to your room or to your house and then the lock the topographical shape will be the trees and everything where where, where there itself it can shade your house from the direct sunlight sun radiation okay so what is basically the plane the plane mean your uh, building base or building slab will be meaning to say the the land uh, accurately on the zero plan will be landing on the zero plan okay let's say you have double story house 
uh, if you have to uh, simulate differently, you have to to have a uh, two different uh, uh, I call two different uh, building space, first floor and second floor. Your second floor plane will be uh, exactly what is the height of your uh, first 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 floor room, and then. For this example, let's say we want to draw first floor only, the plane will be zero and the height will be three meter because of the floor to ceiling for the first floor is only three meter height. Okay. Uh, and then I, I, I want to name it as my room. Okay. Uh, then you can start to, to draw. You just click it here. Okay, let's say I just want to simply draw a simple house which is 5 times 5 meter then I can do like this 5 to 5 meters okay just simply like this follow the grid and then I I have my my room okay so the model the space will be my room and it automatically create the floor ceiling four orientation wall one two three four okay. that's it okay then this is a this, this is a plan view toolbar okay you can have your your building view here you can see you can have a plan view right view left view front view back view and also azonometric view okay this is the azonometric view of your space or your house of your one of your house space okay so what's next? Okay. Next, uh, before that, I want to show you all the information. While you highlight this space, your room space in red, just click like this, highlight it all. Then you can see your space name room. Your space ID is here. The volume of your room is 75 meter cube. The floor area is 25 meter square external wall uh, it's the opening area and so all this information will be given at the bottom of the window drawing window okay then first thing first I want to add opening to the wall we have the different orientation wall one two three four four orientation wall but before that we want to know what is a uh, the default rotation of our building we can see here the side rotation the side rotation will be angle of north degree zero then we can say okay okay then how we want to draw uh, this uh, we add what we want to add uh, we want to add an opening to our building first things first uh, here we just select our building okay then which part of wall that we want to draw first okay for example I just interested in this wall uh, you see uh, wall just this wall okay here in this uh, in this uh, wall we can select uh, wall what orientation that you want this different wall orientation will be highlighted in red See, see okay. start from this wall, then uh, we go to move one down, one level down here. Okay, then we have clear side view of the wall, which is you can easily add windows here. So, how to add windows? Okay, you still have to highlight. Okay, this one. Uh, you just uh, add some windows okay okay I want to add one meter by one meter windows okay because it, it already has grid here then it easily to draw okay two one time one meter window okay then done become yeah, uh, green like this and then we 
move one level up back then we can see automatic uh, our our wall in number one here already have exterior window window two windows we have you see then we'll add another window to the wall then the next wall then same goes to the move down under level then you can add windows same goes one meter time one meter windows and you go to up one level then i want to add a uh, door so which wall that we want to add door yeah i basically want to add door at this wall so i i just go to move down one level and i add door so basically the door will be one times two meter and you go up to level then this will be your room space with win four windows and one doors one door and four windows okay then is it enough no to complete the house we have to add the roof for the house so how are we gonna add the roof we just go to the plan and then we highlight it then what we should do is that uh, we can uh, add roof here so how are we gonna add roof go to my room and we go to the plan view and here we can generate roof for selected spaces okay here so this is easiest way to add roof here is the you just I repeat you just highlight it for uh, the side, roof side area then at the plan view then all add back to the area of drawing there's a draw prism draw pyramid everything you go to the end and this generate roof you select generate roof here you can change the slope of the roof and this overlap it depends if you want to hip roof or normal roof all right so for example uh, i just want to create a normal roof without heat roof then you can just like okay okay then you can see what your roof looks like okay this is your space room complete with the roof you can view your uh, roof or your house in this 3d model also your mid model viewer see let's click the model viewer okay this is will be your house you see okay your model house right you can view in blue color so you can see through the window inside space and you can see the door at the throughout the windows Okay, this is how to complete your model, simple model IT, simple drawing, 3D modeling in model IT. So, until then, meet again uh, for, for, for my next video. Bye-bye.